Hi guys, I'm Alexis Wren and you're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? We have Alexis Rin on the Zoom today. I'm so excited to speak with her, so let's just dive right in. Okay, so we're gonna play a game. The game is ick or no ick. So ick or no ick, when they use two-in-one shampoo. Ick, cause it's like, come on, you know? <laughs> okay, this one I, I thought of today because this happened to me. When they correct your grammar on a first date. Oh yeah, it's like, we live in 2022. I spell you are here. We're like, it, I actually prefer it. It makes me really nervous when people have perfect grammar because it's like, we we all know this, this isn't real. <laughs> like, I like when it's just authentic writing. It's funnier. It has more personality. So definitely ick. I'm with you. Okay, when they don't tip the server. Oh, ick. I feel like that's such an essential thing to do. Our, our, um, those people are what like hold up society. Right, exactly. <laughs> recognize that, yeah. Exactly. Okay, so when they're riding around in their car with the windows down and they're singing really loudly for the entire world to hear them. Oh, not it. I love that. Okay. I do that all the time. I put on the karaoke and I sing um, How Far I'll Go by Moana and I'll just scream it and it's the most amazing, like it just releases all of this like serotonin and dopamine into my system. Uh, that's what I need to do. I was driving to work today and I really wanted to like belt out some Miranda Lambert, but I was, I felt like everyone was watching me. So I just could, I got stage no, right in my own like, car. Do it. It's so fun. I just play all the Disney songs, like Frozen, Moana, all of them. It's so fun. I have to congratulate you because I watched a trailer for The Enforcer today and holy crap, not only is the trailer amazing and you look amazing in it, but this cast is hella star-studded. Like, congratulations <laughs> on that, that's major. Yeah, it was um, pretty surreal. Like I auditioned for it without even, cause they needed like, these things are always so last minute. So they were just like, my agent was like, we need this audition in an hour. And so I just did the audition. I didn't even look at the cast. And um, and then after I did the audition, I looked at the cast and I was like, how is that possible? I mean, I was daydreaming about it like all night. And then the next morning, um, the director called me to make it official. So it was pretty special. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. And well, I also read that you recently wrapped another project, which also had like a star-studded cast. So you're entering this new chapter of acting. What is it like to be able to work with these really big names? I mean, are you inspired? Are you nervous? Are you like, no, they're just like everyday people? Yeah, no, um, it was, I was a sponge on set and I made that very clear to everyone. Like the second I met each person, like Antonio, Mojang, Kate, I was just like, hi, I'm a newbie. And like, there's no ego here. I am just learning from you and I'm going to soak up as much wisdom as I can from you guys. And so it gave them the opportunity to, you know, showcase being a mentor, which I think always feels good. And then for me to be like the young grasshopper, kind of like learning under them, it was really, really special. I mean, Mojang, he took me under his um, arm, like, so amazing. He would have rehearsals with me and um, he just believed in me so much. Uh, and I honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be as confident as I am right now if it wasn't for his confidence in me. So that was like a huge role in um, me building the character was because, you know, it's, I'm, I've been training for the last two and a half years, um, three years as an actress, but I've been very quiet about it because I wanted to make sure that uh, I put in the time and effort to uh, really deserve a position next to these talented people. Um, and I, you know, I, I've, I've, I'm homeschooled and I've been homeschooled my whole life. So I've learned like my best tactic with learning something is just throwing myself in with the sharks, just like, yeah, well, you might drown the first time, but like you'll figure it out. And that's how I learn. And so um, this movie was that <laughs> in a nutshell. It was just like, have fun, hope you swim well. Uh, but I had such a good support system with, with all of the castmates and even down to the assistants and the producers. I mean, it truly is. I think that's my favorite part about working on specifically movies is that you're, you know, you're gone for two months and you're you gain this family. By the end of it, it's like you're celebrating this world that you all created. 
so it's cool. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be tossed into something like into the open water, learning to swim, essentially, like it's nice that you had certain people that you were able to bond and connect with that kind of took you under their wing. I mean, not everybody gets that kind of transition into acting. And speaking of transitions, I mean, obviously the world has followed you for very many years, just admiring your beauty. You have done some really crazy cool stuff in your modeling career, but now you've made this transition into acting kind of quietly. It was like you said, you said yourself you kind of started doing it on your own for the last three years and now it's just like wham here I am I'm in the acting scene have you always wanted to do acting was it something you knew you were going to eventually pursue or what was kind of the process making that transition oh my god if you would have asked me like five or six years ago you should act I would have been insulted I don't know why like it was just my reaction to it and I'm I, I believe it's because you know being born and raised in Los Angeles it's I'm surrounded by it 24 seven. And I really wanted to differentiate myself like as if modeling was much of a difference. But like in my head, I was just like, no, everyone's doing that here. I don't want to. But because of that, you know, firm belief that I didn't want to do it because of that, um, I neglected the love that I have for storytelling. And I think like social media showed me my love for storytelling because I was able to create the story that is my life on social media and showcase myself and my story. And I think acting was the natural transition to that because it felt so right every time I did something vulnerable online. And um, what I love about the entertainment industry is that it's like I can I can be vulnerable in like a controlled setting um so it's like an either even healthier way for me to to give that part of myself to thanks for tuning in Hollywire we loved chatting with Alexis Ren and we can't wait to see all of the movies she does next